Hey, this is Eitan, I'm a sound designer for motion pictures and video games, and in this video I'm going to show you how to create a whoosh sound effect using Waves Doppler plugin. But before we start, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. Now, first of all, what's a Doppler effect? This guy, Christian Doppler, found that the Doppler effect is the change in frequency of a wave in relation to an observer who is moving relative to the wave source. So basically, the Doppler effect is what happens when you hear a moving car, for example, and once the car passes by you, you hear the engine as if it were pitched down the more it gets further away. One thing we need to know in order to create the sound effect is that a whoosh represents an object that cuts through the air. We can have a very quick and realistic whoosh. This kind of whoosh would usually be used in cartoons. But the most common whoosh is the one used for trailers. or ads. And that's the one we'll create today. Due to the fact that this sound represents an object that moves quickly in the air, we will use two layers of wind recordings. Those two layers are grouped together to an auxiliary channel that has a Doppler effect plugin on the insert slot. There are a few Doppler plugins available in the market, but today we are going to talk about the Waves Doppler plugin. By the way, I added a link in the description where you can get a 10% off coupon at waves.com. Now let's take a look at the Doppler plugin. I'm not going to go into a deep explanation about all those slots here, but what's important for this tutorial is to understand that this point represents the observer position, and this line represents the pathway of the moving object. Those rings represent the distance from the listener. For this whoosh, I want the path to be symmetrical. And we can change the track time depending on how long we want the whoosh sound to last. For now, let's set this to 2 seconds, so we can have a relatively quick whoosh. So let's disable energy, start the playback, and simply press manual when I want the plugin to start affecting the wind. Now we need to change the volume automations so that the peak is located where the object makes the transition from right to left. And that's it. You have a whoosh sound effect. Simple. Now let's make it more interesting. First of all, let's add some compression to make it more powerful. And you can also use EQ automations. Let's add some reverb to make it bigger. We can also try to make it more interesting by adding more layers. Let's add a symbol recording. We can even use more complex sounds like pads or drones to create a more interesting whoosh. So that's it, basically making whoosh sounds is very easy. You just need to be creative with the sounds and the layers that you choose, and have a Doppler effect. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and take care, bye bye!